Tammy. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Today's video is about this new moon. I know everyone's talking about it. What's up with this new moon? What the heck is a lion's gate portal? Okay, so this new moon is coming in on August 8th, this coming weekend. We're already feeling the energy. Anytime you have a large transit or a full or new moon, we feel that three days prior and then three days after most of us. Some of you, if you're more empathic or highly sensitive, you may even feel that sooner, five days, maybe even seven days sooner. So this energy is ramping up. Not only do we have a dark moon in Leo with the sun in Leo, right? But this is the lion's gate, which is the eight, eight portal, which is actually about the star Sirius rising in the sky. So this goes back probably even before ancient Egypt, but they used to witness this in the sky and every time this would happen, there would be floods um, in the Nile River, I think. So anyways, this moon, this portal is associated with the star Sirius. So you may feel highly charged with a new sense of understanding, clarity, epiphany, awakening, like it's uh, comparable to like a third eye awakening, but maybe not as, <laughs> whoa. So it's like, uh, it's like your brain or your soul or your consciousness is kind of opening up a little bit this weekend. And you could already be feeling this. Expect shocks, breakthroughs, surprises, because the moon is square Uranus and Taurus, I know. So this is so exciting because things are going to be falling away with the dark moon. It's always about what we want to create. And since we've come into this sun and Leo aspect, it's been about how we feel and the things that we really desire and following our heart, aspecting the opposing Saturn and then now Jupiter in Aquarius. It's been so much hectic energy about humanity as a whole, what we want as an individual, how we shine and how we spread our light and the things that we want. What have we been putting off? What dreams do we really want to go after? And so this is like, we have already kind of know what we want to get started. And we're really getting this energy now to follow through or to get started on that. And now with this Lion's Gate portal, which will last probably until the 12th, um, maybe longer. The energy may be here until the full moon, which is on the 22nd, and it is another full moon in Aquarius. Because I think the rising of the star Sirius is actually on the 11th this year. But everyone just says, oh, 8-8 eight, eight, and 8 represents um, growth and abundance and building. And so um, look into numerology if you're into that. Life Path 8 or any numerology with the 8. You know, it is infinity, the infinity sign, you know. So it's about growth and potential. It's about meeting higher goals and how we're going to do that. So it is a very exciting time. There will be shakeups, there will be breakups, there will be drama because of Uranus. Uranus is the rebel and uh, it's in Taurus still squaring this moon. So it's gonna be about how things feel. If it doesn't feel good, get out of it. You're gonna wanna be comfortable. You're gonna wanna think about your value. You're gonna wanna think about the things that you're progressing towards and what value that holds in your life and in the future for yourself. What is tangible? What is real? How can you accomplish it? Um, and as well as, is the potential realistic? If you can't make these things happen for yourself here in the next few months, maybe you're reaching a little too far. With this Gemini North Node, we're still looking very locally. We're still looking for the things that we can control in our 
personal realms close by, close to home, close to your work, in your local community. We know we, we're not traveling, right, right now, most of us. And so everything needs to be within our grasp here. It needs to be within our own reach. This moon will be powerful. It is a dark moon, so there will be no moon. But dark moons often things come up, purging things come up that have been needing to be healed, things come up that have been hidden. So it may hit the fan this weekend uh, with friends and loved ones, relationships, at your job. People have more energy and if they're being drawn to the negative aspects of Taurus and Leo, they're very fixed signs, they're stubborn, and they may not want to hear anybody else out. So we have to be careful with that energy, that we don't take it on and that we recognize it in others and that we don't push people this weekend because it may be obvious that things need to end or things need to change and this will bring about massive change for everyone. But we want to just be cautious that we're not being arrogant, we're not being boastful or too concerned solely about ourselves and that we're including everyone in the big picture and um, doing what feels right with a big generous heart, the positive aspects of Leo and the positive, more um, sensible and logical aspects, the hard work and effort of Taurus about really putting in that effort towards what we want to create for ourselves. So with this Lionsgate portal, as well as the new moon, there will be some new ascension symptoms perhaps. You may get headaches, you may feel very tired, like you're low energy, you may be on the opposite side of the spectrum and get a lot of energy and then you can't sleep at night. Um, you may be super hungry, you may not have an appetite at all. These are common ascension symptoms and so when Sirius rises in the sky, this represents a new outlook for us, a new opening to higher realms, higher consciousness, um, even as far as ET connections. So spend some time in meditation this weekend. Try to embody your highest self. Try to embody your most compassionate and generous self. When you think about what it is you're doing for yourself in the future, moving forward on your dreams, and how that's going to impact and contribute to the whole of humanity. As this energy continues to ramp up, we're being shown more and more what it is that we want and how to go about getting that now. So this should be clear in your mind already. There will be surprises and, and shocks, revelations that come about this weekend because of the square to Uranus which is the rebel, which does things a different way, out of the box, things you never even thought possible. So this can cause challenges, it can cause these shakeups, as well as it can cause positive breakthroughs and bring clarity or a different way of looking at the situation or a different way of just thinking about it. So if you've been stuck, this weekend would be a really great time to feel a new way of doing things, to try a new way, a way that maybe you didn't see was possible and then suddenly it's clear now. So that's the kind of energy we're moving in this weekend and that will last until the 12th at least. The Lionsgate portal will probably last a little bit longer, seeing as how Sirius will be rising on the 11th. So we're getting an early start. Then we have this new moon energy, which brings about new energy and new creative energy. And um, it's just really exciting time. Things that fall away are meant to. Things that come about and, and are asking to be released, do that for yourself. Toxic relationships and um, friendships or anything you know is just stagnant, hasn't been working for you, feels uncomfortable, doesn't feel good. You know, because Taurus is about feeling good. 
So that's where Uranus is and it will continue to be there until 2025, 26. And so I made a video about that a long time ago, but it is more about your value and what we value as a whole, how we make our money, and the more unique ways of doing so. Having a, a sense that things are just temporary right now and don't get used to it. Like We really need to get used to change because that's Uranus and Taurus wants to feel comfortable. So Uranus is like, no, I'm going to make everyone super uncomfortable because things need to change. And if we're comfortable, we're never going to let that happen. So I just want to do a quick reading for the collective for this weekend. Spirit, please give us clear, concise messages about the energy coming in this weekend. The Lionsgate portal new moon in Leo, square to Uranus, the star, that is Aquarian energy, I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but the star is about enlightenment, it's about hopefully the, the blindfold coming off a little bit, hopefully for a large amount of the population this weekend where you start to really see things differently maybe start questioning things a little bit more maybe realizing that things haven't been adding up and we're kind of sick of it so where do we go from here you know and and leo energy is strong and it's about the heart and it's about leadership and being able to find the positive in the things around you with that childlike energy but also with that fire energy, being willing to fight for what's best for humanity, coming into that next full moon on the 22nd. Then we have judgment. So absolutely, enlightenment that brings about judgment is like, that's it. Like when a judge rules in court, that's it. You know, unless you appeal and stuff, but with the universe, you can't really appeal like that. So when a judgment is made or an inner knowing comes out there's really no going back so this weekend I'm expecting huge changes shifts in the collective shifts with the majority and how we're looking at the situation and being ready and willing to make change and fight for what it is that we want uh, so this inner knowing is going to come in the star is like enlightenment it's like an epiphany uh, and it's also about having hope and faith in the future for ourselves. Tell us more spirit about this weekend, please. This is really powerful energy. Whew. Um, and I'm hoping a mass awakening occurs this weekend just uh, on a large scale the sun leo are you can't i can't make this up aquarius and leo that's where we are right now we have so much energy there saturn we've we've gone past and progressed past this the sun opposing saturn but we're still here in Leo opposing Aquarius, so that energy is still going to be here. But this is about the, the happiness that we want. How do we get to this happy place? How do we make those changes? We're going to have to come together. We're going to have to see that we have to stand together, okay? And the government works for us. I don't know why I keep having to say that. <laughs> But people have forgotten. They work for us. We're supposed to tell them what we want. And they make it happen on a large scale. Not the opposite way. Right? We pay their salaries. We pay for funding for the entire nation. We pay for so many things. So that they're done according to the people. 
This can never change until something huge happens and wakes everybody up and shakes everybody up. And hopefully this will happen this weekend. <laughs> I know it's very hopeful, but that is the star card. So we have Knight of Wands on the bottom. We're looking for new adventure. We want something new. We want something passionate. And this is the encouragement and the motivation that I think we need. And with this serious energy coming through the star, not serious R-I-O-U-S, you know, serious the star. And so this is very exciting. And I keep, I'm getting these heart flutters. Ten of swords. Okay, so there is pain. This is talking about overcoming our pain. We have the emperor that popped out too. So this is recognizing the pain that, that has been placed upon us. Really, the suffering and torturing of humanity. For a long time, not just the last year and a half. So we've got to come together with this hope and this faith, this inner knowing that I really feel like something's going to come out. Something is going to shift this weekend. The sun, everything is going to be more about what makes us happy. What do we really want to see in our future? And why is that not possible? We can create whatever we want, not just because we are infinite creators, but because we're in charge here. We have to take our power back. Recognizing the pain that's been caused. Recognizing the lies, the deceit, the backstabbing. You know, this card in the original tarot in the Rider Waite is a guy laying on the floor face down and he has 10 swords in his back. It's like the constant pain, the constant keeping you down and keeping you feeling like you can't progress or, you know, you can't do the things that you always wanted to do when in reality we can if we embody this emperor energy is the, is the energy of aries which is the initiator they take action they don't take any bs no and they're harsh and sometimes they're blunt and uh they also get shit done they get it done aries is the is the baby you know they may not be emotionally mature all the time they do in time, they grow, you know, when they evolved Aries, but the thing is they get stuff started. They want to take action. They want to move forward. And the emperor is about taking your life back, taking your power back and standing in your own authority. Nobody else has authority over you. Nobody else can make you feel like you need to do something that you don't want to do. You're a sovereign being. And when it gets to the point that you don't have sovereignty, in a sovereign nation like the United States, something is wrong. Something is amiss. And we're wasting time here. It's critical that we take in whatever information comes into us as individuals and then push that out onto the collective and see what that means for humanity this weekend. I hope that you think about what it is you're creating. Think about this fresh start we're getting right now. A brand new start. Think of it as a fresh start. Every new moon is a brand new beginning. So what are you creating? What do you want to get started on? And how is it going to contribute to the whole? Are you ready to take your power back? Are you ready to stand up for your freedom and your fellow humans, your fellow citizens? And how are we going to do that? There are ways that we can embrace more feminine energy right now. I feel the masculine energy ramping up and that's why I say we need to embrace the feminine energy. I'm going to make a video more in depth about this because the spirit has been calling me to do this and I just, I've been putting it off since yesterday, the day before. But this is about embracing a more powerful, just a human stance, not an American stance, not a female, male, whatever, political, none of that. Just a human. What are your rights? Basic human rights. What are the freedoms you feel you deserve? That everyone deserves. 
And if those aren't being upheld, something has to change. Nobody else is going to do it. Nobody else is going to do it. No one else is going to do it. So we can't wait around anymore. We can't keep putting it off thinking, uh, you know, a couple more years, I'm sure something will change. Or even worse, thinking, well, nothing's ever going to change, so why should I try? We have to come together. That's the only way. Embracing feminine energy means standing in your power, but understanding the more nurturing spiritual side of things, having compassion for others, understanding where they're coming from, but pushing that change forward anyways, because it is what's best for everyone. Doesn't have to be hateful, doesn't have to be violent, doesn't have to be about strength or power. It's about your individual sovereignty, your connection to source, creator, which gives you your life spark, which gives you your internal but also external power of creation. We came to change this planet. I'm here to do it. Are you? Yeah, you are. Let's do it together. Please like and subscribe. Please share this video. I hope you have a great new moon. I hope something really great occurs for you and it shifts your whole world. See you guys in the next one.